Hello, my friends and dwarves. Gather round, for today we tell a tale dark and brooding. You may want to hold your loved ones close. In the oracular domain, the once glorious fortress known as Diverth, a once military power of the dwarven civilizations, a grand standing steeple with incredible towers and caverns below. They say greed corrupts and power corrupts absolutely. The dwarves of Diverth had such riches and wealth, they only knew how to dig deeper to gather more and discovered greater treasures and power. In doing so, they unlocked something far darker than they'd ever imagined. The dark creature Bobet would invade Dive Earth in the year 214, causing more death than any dwarf could ever imagine. Bobet Dredge Ditch's The Dark Tragedies was a skunk monster. He was the only one of his kind, an enormous noseless skunk twisted into humanoid form. It belches and croaks and beware its deadly blood. Bobet was associated with misery and his foul stench. In the year of the Pickaxe 214, Dive Earth dug too deep and breached the great underworlds. Moment after, our unlucky miner cracked the seal into the dark, musky, dimly lit blackness of the underworld. A horrible croak and roar could be heard as Bobet lurched awake from his slumber. The monster devoured the miner and began the bloody assault of Diverth. Bobet had an army of 49 demons and 100 goblins in tow. A force so vile it could outmatch any foe. They would overwhelm the local militia, and Atir Floorletter, the commander, and led the defense. But it would be in vain. Bobet would cut her down and consumed her corpse and left the rest impaled on steel spikes. By the end of mid-spring 214, the Nightmare of Coiling, led by Bobet, defeated the still mansion of the Fence of Drums and took over Diverth. The new site government was called the Unnameable Amazements. Now, of course, you might think that this is a place where the tale ends, but no, this is only the beginning. Dwarves, you may want to grab another round. The bar is still open. Well, it always is. We're dwarves, after all. Just eight days after the invasion of Diverth, the great general Dastot Oilybar, the tactical mastermind, gathered a great force of 2,000 dwarves and 1,380 plus humans and other creatures in an attempt to seal off the great blackness of the void in the depths of Diverth. It was a massacre. 2,816 lives were lost in the battle known as the Attack of Boring. 99 demons were slain and banished, but Bobet slipped down to the depths once more. A few weeks after the obliteration of Diverth, on the 22nd of Slate, two armies gathered in alliance between the humans and dwarven nations, the Angelic Empire and the Vessel of Artifice. The humans and dwarves formed one line. Cam Bonescar led the human army, and Bomrek Brist Torches led the dwarves. They would clash with the smelly fiend Bobbit on this day, 100 demons in defense of the Dark One versus our glorious allied forces. Three days and three nights the battle with the titans would last. To slay one of the cursed titans would cost a dozen or more lives. Many of the dwarves were consumed in their deaths without proper burials, but Bomrek the Great would be one to fall in the heat of battle on the third day, but not before scarring the great skunk monster and forcing him to flee into the caverns of the underworld. A great funeral was held in the dwarven mountain home, and Bomrek would go down in history as one of the greatest leaders of our time. Diverth still stands, occupied by goblin filth. They will be cleansed, and they must be cleansed. Rumor says the scarred Bobet lives on in the darkness of the caverns. Some say you can smell his foul stench late in the night if you stray too close to one of the local goblin pits. Beware, Bobet. We'll return to Diverth. History will repeat itself. Heed this tale of warning, my dwarves. The golden riches and adamantine armor of the depths will cause the obliteration of all living things. Remember this tale. It is taken from legends. Legends and writings exist for a reason. To remind us of things we should not 
repeat. Things we should not do again. There are more demons and fiends in the depths like Bobette. This is just one tale from the legends of Dwarf Fortress. Thank you very much for listening. Hello, and this is uh, kind of the end part of the video. I just wanted to say a real quick thank you to all of the members of my Twitch chat for helping me research this. This was taken from our community world. The link to download the world save itself is down in the description. If you would like to go look this up, all of the locations and whatnot are available in there, as well as, uh, you know, all of the other stuff in the world. Feel free to dig through and find cool stories, and I will make more videos like this one. If you want to support these videos directly, you can do that on my Patreon, patreon.com slash blindirl. And uh, if you want to watch us discover these things, we will be sifting through this world on the weekends. Thank you very much once again for watching, and I hope to see you in the live chat. Have a good afternoon, night, morning, or whatever time it is where you are.